Hello everyone, FudgeNX here. Welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolves Skyblock episode 21. Today we're going to do some immersive engineering multi-blocks. Uh, so you get out the book and it gives you a whole list of all that you can make. Uh, we already made the normal blast furnace, but there's an improved version. Uh, it makes it faster, you can do automation, and you can attach preheaters. So we're going to do that. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, and the next one listed is the Crusher. It's a huge machine, and all it does is double your ores. <laughs> so, we don't need that. We've got tinkers for that. I might build it sometime just because it looks cool. I mean, look what it looks like when it's done. Hey, no, actually, show me. There, look at that. <laughs> That's sweet. So maybe we'll build one for fun. Uh, the Metal Press. We're going to make this one, I think, because it, it'll make his gears faster than going through tinkers. So we're going to make that one as well. Uh, the assembler. Um, it does crafting. So we kind of have, we're using a uh, logistics pipe for that. Um, but it, you can hold three recipes and it can craft them all at once. So it's actually a pretty cool block. What does it look like? Ooh, <laughs> I think I have to make one of those too. Uh, a bottling machine fills fluids into containers. Yeah, not really useful. Biodiesel could be pretty cool to make some um, uh, you know, energy. So we could make some of these. We've got a lot of hemp coming in and we have no use for it. So we turn it into seeds and squeeze it into biodiesel and then make a, a generator. Um, looks like we also need like some, some kind of stuff to ferment. But, oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. What does it like look like? Ooh. <laughs> so maybe Biodiesel will be on the radar um, shortly. Uh, that's probably one of the cooler ones that actually has a purpose. Um, and then an arc furnace. Holy crap. Uh, quickly smelt metals. And you have to keep filling it with electrodes. But, oh, my goodness. It looks beautiful. And then the excavator. I'm wondering, will this actually... Because it says... Uh, it is able to dig up minerals from veins inaccessible by normal mining. So it sounds like it doesn't need actual minerals below it. It just kind of like creates them. Kind of like a, a mining laser. So we might have to build this just to get some ores. So I think it'd be pretty cool. But it's 4096 RF a tick. So this will be long-term goal. <laughs> so let's get going. So we'll start with the uh, the blast furnace here. Um, you take your normal blast furnace apart and you get all those bricks and then you um, just add a steel plate to each one. So we need 27 steel plates to finish this one. You also need a hopper, which kind of gives it the automation. And I'm just going to put it here. Uh, let me get a little bit more gap in between just so if I want to put some pipes. Because we can start automating now. Um, we can pull out the uh, coal coke and... Get steel automated. So this goes right there. And just fill it in. Remember the immersive engineering blocks are not hollow. And then we can wrench it. Nope, I need the hammer. Left my hammer. And this, I, you know, I, all of these are really cool. Once you put the, the hammer to them, they just, they look sweet. And... Bam! Look at that! Wow! That is pretty cool. So you can see we've got a few things. We've got, you know, can pipe into here. Um, and then there's these ports here, which we're going to make use of a little bit later in the episode. And then I think you can also pump stuff in the top. Let's look at the inputs, it says. So, uh, heavy machinery, blast furnace, um, blah, 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 blah. Steel is output at the front. So we get the steel from the front. Slag comes out the back. Um, iron and coal coke are fed in through the top. So that's, if we wanted to automate this, we could do that. Maybe I'll put some logistics pipes over here to do something. But for now, I'm just gonna go and throw the coal coke and iron that I have that was in the previous one. Um, and I, yeah, I guess, it looks cool. <laughs> so what's next? Next, let's do that hammer. I think we're going to go upstairs for that. Could have taken the elevator, but I decided to take the stairs. And let's put it um, kind of central because it looks so cool. Where's the center of? Yeah, right here. So we're going to have 
if we look at it, uh, metal press, it needs three um, steel scaffolding, one piston, two conveyor belts, and a heavy engineering block. So you put your materials on one uh, conveyor belt, it goes through, and you get the output. So let's do the scaffolding, which is like this. So this is a ton of steel, three steel, and all of these are six bars, well, for two, and those, you know, so it takes quite a lot of steel to make this. All right, and then we're gonna put our piston facing down. So let's just put that there for now. So we can have the heavy engineering block. This is a bunch more steel, steel and copper and electrum and pistons. Oh, come on, there we go. And then now we can add that piston there. Nope. Can I, uh, oh, I could probably do this. There we go. Does this hammer work to rotate it? Yeah, cool. Hammer acts like a wrench. And then we'll have our conveyor belts. So let's input on this side, output on that side. Good to go. Smack it with one of these. There it is. Oh, it's beautiful. And I think it said it needed power on the top. So we'll get a little cobble and one of these guys here. And put our power right there. And connector up. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Can I have that back, please? Thank you. So you can have power from here. All right, there she goes. She holds 16,000 RF. Let's uh, give her a try. It's interesting. Uh, it looks like it has three conveyor belts there and only put two. But such is the multi lock. So let's say we need a um, an invar gear. Let's go something weird. Let's bring some iron, or uh, we got plenty of copper, let's do copper. And we'll take the elevator this time. So I think we just go bum 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 bum. Nope, missed. Missed. Maybe? Okay, maybe you can't make it with Invar. Uh, let's make it with copper. What? <laughs> How does she work? Oh, we need a... Oh, I know. We forgot something. We didn't make a press or a mold. To actually work, the metal press requires a mold to be attached to the piston. Molds are crafted as shown above and can be inserted into the metal press by right-clicking the multi-black of the mold. So we want to make the gear. So we need an iron gear and some steel plates. Okay. Forgot about that part. Steel plates anywhere? Nope, oh, used them all. Um, do I have an iron gear? I made this chest because I was out of inventory space. But it looks like, unfortunately, we have to make an iron gear to be able to make the mold, to make more gears. Yeah, chicken the egg kind of thing. That blood's going to bug me. <laughs> I guess I could just break the controller. All right, so while you are melting that, let's go get our steel plates forming. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Just happened to have four sitting in there. Maybe I did plan this after all. Oh, come on, iron. You can melt faster than that. Give me your juicy molten iron goodness. And here she comes. Okay. No, don't make those. That was almost a fail. Oh, Thiago, are you proud of me? I haven't, like, done any uh, fails this entire series, right? Right? None? Zero? Maybe one? No. I can't remember the last, like, actual, like, super fail that I've done this series. 
Usually I have a lot more. Robot, are you out of power? Where are you? Oh, you're overworking. Every once in a while, I'll just come and give him a chili. I need to uh, automate putting stuff in there, but... So much to do. Okay, so it was a iron gear and... First, yes. Iron gear and four steel. I like that, though. And there's our metal press. Okay. So if you want all three, then you'd need three different presses or to switch them. Or you can just use this guy for rolling and this guy for gear. So now I can put one, two, three, four. Seriously? <laughs> I thought we had it. Oh, we could have used any gear. Oh, oh well. Items through the conveyor. Okay. That... It's really weird. Let's go back and look up recipes here. So a copper gear. Yeah, metal press. Four copper. A metal press mold, a gear mold, and the copper makes a copper gear. Is it the wrong kind of copper? Something to do with that? It's got power. Do something. Hmm. Let's try the iron. <laughs> oh, I don't know, guys. I messed up somehow. But we built it. Um, comments in the comment section on what I'm doing wrong. I assume it's something stupid, but there you go, Thiago. Derp counter. Add one. Did you make my cool ingots? Oh, you did. Thank you. All right. So we've got one more. Oops, I need those to do. Uh, oh, and that's the... Uh, we're going to make the... Um, Oh, the heaters. Not the heaters. What are they called? The, um, yeah, preheater. Okay, so we need to make two of them. So we need four metal blocks, or sheet metals, two external heaters, and two fluid pipes. So, sheets. I think we wanted just the normal ones. Yeah, just the normal sheet metal. And that makes four right there, so we're good. That's the four we needed. Then we needed some fluid pipe. This one here, and that one's more iron plates and iron, so we get eight, we only need two, that's fine. And then it was a preheater? Nope, that is the thing. Um, yeah, this guy here, external heater, which is a ton of these guys. So we're gonna need 16 of these. Got him. Let's make two of those and then two of those. Okay, I think we're good. I got an achievement, spread the warmth. Now, oh, are these a multi-block structure? No, I need to craft them, apparently. There we go. And we need to both place them, but they also power them. They take power to speed up this process. Add one there. Are you the right direction? No, you are not. Don't you fall off. There we go. Okay. Just look at it when you place it and it goes in. Nice. All right, and where do you take power? Do I assume from the top? Looking for an orange dot. Usually the orange dot represents where power comes in on these. Yep, there it is. So we need a wire connector there and there. And I'm not sure if we can reach. We'll see. And will it go through there? No. 
<laughs> you suck. <laughs> um, we'll put one like right there. There we go. All right, so those are now heating. So this should go a lot faster, I think. Somewhat. Who knows? Um, oh, don't you crash. We're definitely going to need to automate this, and we might need a second uh, Coke oven to make the cold Coke faster now, because we're going to be using it up pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, awesome. Let's see, how much power did that say it was going to take? 32 RF per tick, so each one of those is an entire windmill. So if I get a second windmill, I could run these off the wind power. And there we go. We got some steel. Sweet. Steel faster. Um, how's our time? We're running out of time. Well, I'm going to quickly just take a cut and try and get this metal former to work. Go watch a video on it or something. And come back and just try and show it off. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. I uh, did a little bit of trial and error, and it turns out you need an extra um, conveyor belt or something that'll actually put onto this conveyor belt. You can't just throw it there. So I throw it onto this one, and you can see it actually stacks there. So there's three, and this will be the fourth. And now it should move it along and press it. And out comes the gear, and it flies off. So cool. <laughs> it works. Can I get rid of this now? Yeah, sweet. So if we need uh, Envar gear, let's see if the Envar works. And slam. Sweet! It's working! Awesome. So if you guys have a similar issue, just put something else in, in this position that will output onto that conveyor belt. Don't try and throw it at the machine, because that obviously does not work. Uh, guys, that went, time went by super fast, but we got a lot done. Three, uh, well, two plus some add-ons to our immersive engineering blocks. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And I think we're about ready to start some magic. So uh, we'll be back next time for that. If you, uh, I'll see you guys then. Catch you later. Bye.